Okay, so we've got a question here that talks about the locus. So that's the path of an object moving to given rules. And it's telling us that the point is moves to the distance is always the same from both the lines. So we've got two lines given to us. Uh, what I find with these kind of questions is um, if you sketch a picture of what's going on, that can help to visualize. Uh, so let's have a look. Where x equals 1, well, that's the line going through 1 on the x-axis. And then we've got y equals 2, so that's horizontal line going through the y-axis at the point 2 and 1. And we've got this general point P um, anywhere in space. Um, so that's got the coordinate x and y. Um, it's told us that the distance is the same for both, from there to there. So they're telling us that that distance remains the same at all times. So just work in general terms. Um, the distance from this point to the line y equals 2 is the y coordinate, take away 2. Uh, the distance of this point from the line 1, well, they're telling us that this coordinate was x along, so we're going on here. Uh, distance of x, well the gap there must be the x value minus the 1. So this has a distance of x minus 1. Now they're telling us that this point moves so that these two distances remain the same at all times. So therefore we can say that the x minus 1 value must equal the y minus 2 value. Um, because they've asked for the equation of the locus, then we need a y equals situation. So we need to rearrange this to be y equals so that means if I add 2 to both sides, so if I add 2, add 2, then we can see that y is equal to x plus 1. So here we've got y equals x plus 1. So the standard thing to do with these kind of questions is when it talks about the locus of a point, and uh, the general point P is x, y, it's moving to some given rules. Look for the rules. Well, it's telling me that the, the distance is, is always the same. So I can work out the distance of that. I can work out the distance of that. Because they're the same, I can make them equal to each other. And then because the question wants the equation y equals, rearrange it to be y equals. So that's an example of finding the equation of the locus of a point moving.